Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through third grade mathematics third grade mathematics and we are going to be trying to cover the content on page number 218 I believe it's going to be page number 218 and we are going to be in week 33 and day number three and we're going to be having uh, what you can potentially make, turn to be a fun exercise for you uh, right after after this class so okay so we're going to be talking about how to make 3d shapes so yesterday and two days ago, we started talking about three dimensional shapes. You learn about a cube, a cuboid, a cone, and cylinder, and all those kind of shapes. But how do we make this 3D shape? Okay, these 3D shapes, okay. Making 3D shapes, okay, 3D shapes. How are they made, okay? So there is uh, something on page 218 that uh, we call a net. Okay, so that's a net. So a net is gonna be like something you can cut out. You can cut out from the worksheet over here if you wanna make a copy of it, especially if you have the paper paperback uh, workbook, you don't wanna cut your paperback book, just go ahead and make a copy of that page and then you can cut it out. So we call it a net. So a net is like a 3D shape that's been opened up for you. And then if you cut it out, then you can actually fold it back together and you're gonna see, see the 3D shape coming in front of you. So for example, there's gonna be a net over there that looks like the symbol of a cross over here. <laughs> like Jesus hanging on the cross, right? And he has six sides to it. So there's one, two, three. I believe there's gonna be another one here. There is four, there is five, and there is six. And all these are just potential faces of that object. And when you cut it out, I believe you're gonna get a cube. Okay, you're gonna get a cube. So when you trace this out and you cut it from your paper and you fold it together, you're gonna have a cube. Well, that's the net of a cube, right? That's the net of a cube. Now, what about this net? So there's another net that looks like this here. that you can easily cut out. <laughs> uh, this is has one face over here, has a second face over there. Well, if you cut this out, you are gonna have a cone, okay? That's gonna form a cone for you, all right? So you, you can go ahead and cut that out. That's gonna form, form a cone for you. All right, so there are additional nets on page 218. So please go ahead and try to have some fun with that and, and ask your mom to help you or, or your daddy to help you. Go ahead and make a copy of that page and then you can cut it out. And your mom is gonna guide you throughout to use the scissors just to cut that out a little bit. You can fold it together and tape it together and you're gonna have 3D shapes that you learned yesterday. Okay, good stuff. All right, so that's what I've got for you. Thanks for joining me today. Um, please remember to re recite your morality creed. When I step away from the screen, you're welcome to do that. And remember to use this knowledge for the praise of God's glory because God created all knowledge. Until next time, I want you to know that God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. 
This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 